Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. The Cinema Arts Center honored Dr. James Watson, who won a Nobel Prize for his co-discovery of DNA and the double helix. The celebration included a poem written by Dr. Judd Newborn. I am at home on the banks of streams, meandering with currents, swift or gentle through the wetlands I so love, mindful that the DNA of each and every living thing I see resides in its place along the strands of my own double helix. Dr. Watson's discovery of DNA has expanded our knowledge about medicine, genealogy, and about our basic connectedness to the very web of life in this planet. In 2014, in order to raise funds to support charitable organizations, Dr. Watson auctioned off his Nobel Prize. But to his surprise, the winning bidder provided a positive twist. A Russian billionaire whose family had both had cancer, and he felt that Dr. Watson's discoveries had been important genetically in understanding and furthering the process of ultimately curing cancer. And for that reason, he thought Dr. Watson should not be without his gold medal. So he allowed, essentially, Dr. Watson to get his medal back by buying it, allowing Dr. Watson to fulfill his mission of giving the money away to charity and simultaneously giving him back his medal so he should not be without it. One of the beneficiaries of Dr. Watson's kindness is the Cinema Art Center. Today, Dr. Watson has given the Cinema Art Center a gift of $25,000 to continue our mission and support us, and so we've decided to plant a special tree in his honor, and the tree is reminiscent of a double helix. You can now, hug it if you want. Now, <laughs> every year now I get more famous, but the discovery remains the same. When we made the discovery, we had no idea of what would happen over the last uh, 60 plus years. It has been an enormous scientific revolution. He also firmly believes that the answer to cancer will come from researchers in the DNA field. And cancer is a disease which arises through changes in DNA. And so the people most qualified, at least initially, to, to try and cure cancer are people who come out of the DNA world. The Cold Spring Harbor Lab is one of the better labs in the world because it works on DNA and more and more institutions focus on DNA. Does that mean that the cure is within our DNA sequence? The DNA sequence will tell you why you got cancer, but it won't tell you how to cure it. Because cancers change from what they are when you first diagnosed with them. Dr. Watson is optimistic that a breakthrough is closer than we think. My, my main uh, sort of Scientific objective is for us to know enough to truly cure terminal cancer. And I think we just may do it over the next three to ten years. Although his discovery changed the world, Dr. Watson advises young people that want to make a difference to start with the person in the mirror. I worry about young people who want to save the world. They should first worry about saving themselves. <laughs> Then if they save themselves, then they can save their parents, they can do a lot of other things. He hopes that his contribution to the Cinema Arts Center encourages others to support the arts. He's also set on leaving an additional mark in this world. Yeah, I'd like to be remembered as a cultured person as opposed to just, you know, a nerd who succeeded in science.